Hey guys, before this video begins, I want to begin with saying I'm sorry for the audio quality it was so bad in this video. I'm not sure why the audio quality was bad. Hey guys, welcome back. We bought a power outage today. Now this was a power outage I was expecting. It was scheduled to happen anytime today in between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. And it did happen, so no surprises here. As you can see, our fire alarm system here. I won't stay back, but I guess for very long. Anyways, we've got our AC fault systems all up and running though. As usual, we're in emergency mode on all of our exit signs and emergency lights. It shouldn't be a long power outage, it's supposed to be pretty quick. We've got AC troubles. You guys can't really see that very well for some reason. Anyways, AC trouble. Can go in the little room here. Our emergency light is on, as you can see. No AC though on the security system. These guys over here have gone into their emergency mode. This means I won't have to do a monthly test this month, which I already did do anyways, but I was gonna upload a video of it, but I probably won't since now we have a real test. You can look at our outside unit door door holder won't stick obviously had to open the garage door manually which is a pain to do opening is fine it's trying to push that back to get it to lock back in place which is a pain i should get a ups for it then the ups would also back up my access control system which would be nice as you can see our outdoor emergency light is on right there i should show you this isn't staged too this is this is 100 percent legit have to use key override but not that key as you can see our main breaker is on you can tell because if it was off if it was off you can lock it through right there so yeah, everything's on. Won't completely close that, so it's a pain to have to get up the keys to find the right key. Just want to say I apologize for the audio being terrible in this whole video. I'm not sure why the audio is that way. Going in the upstairs instead. Should have a trouble here. thermostat is not communicating smoke detectors have their AC light off now just to show you if I turn this off no difference now the struggle oh What are you doing? Alright, so not matter much else for me to show you guys. Power shouldn't be out for too long. I'll give you I'll let you know when everything comes back on. 
Actually, let's look at what time it actually went out at. Read status. History. View. View all. Acknowledge in system 938. Was acknowledged 9:38 AC fault at 9:37. Looks like it stays at what time power goes out because it's 10 o'clock now, so it's been out for almost 30 minutes here. Well, 30 minute update. All the emergency lighting, as far as I can know, as far as I know, it can die now. I don't need it to last any longer. It's lasted. It's 30 minutes. It's not required to last any longer at this point. So all our emergency lighting is still on. I think I have excessive amount, like I have too many. I'm wondering if I should get rid of those units and just put them somewhere else, somewhere. Cause I don't, I feel like I don't really need them. Like I feel like this unit in the main area, one head can shine this way, one head can shine that way. I'll keep the one in the bathroom. I'll keep the one in there. This one, I don't know if I really need it there either because this unit's here. I'm just wondering if I should maybe eliminate some of them if I don't need so many. If Update for you guys, it's now been an hour. The outage was supposed to last for 20 minutes. So my last update at 30 minutes didn't seem that crazy. So, so much for the 20 minute outage. It's been an hour and I just checked on my utilities, my Power Utilities website, and they're saying the estimated on time is at 2 p.m. So that's like five hour power outage, and it was supposed to be 20 minutes. I don't know if it's gonna take quite that long. That seems like a little bit extreme, but we will find out, I guess. All our emergency lighting looks like it's still going strong. Yes, sir. You know, something Firelight could do, and I wish they did with their systems, because it really, I can see it not wasting a ton, but it definitely would take some power, is having all your devices still pulling. Basically, what I'm saying here is to, I wish Firelight had their devices that when they were pulling, that if AC power is lost, they will still pull, obviously. They will still communicate to the devices, but not have the LED light indicate it. Notifier does that on some of their Onyx panels, like the 320, 640, 3030, where the devices will still pull and still communicate to the panel as usual. You just don't see the little LED pulling inside of the devices, which I think is a pretty cool idea. It's now been exactly 90 minutes or an hour and a half. So if I was in the United States, my emergency lighting would have to go this long and we would be... This would pass the test at 90 minutes here. Our battery backup on our fire alarm is still good here. We've still got 25.5 volts. I think we might be able to go to read status as well and look at our voltage, go to power. Battery here is, battery is 25.2 we're getting 25 here just past the two hour mark everything is looking the same nothing to really update you on all right now i went to school in the middle of that but power came back on at 2 15 p.m i just checked history on the fire alarm system and power was restored at 2 15 so I don't can't I can't speak for if all the emergency light lighting lasted that whole entire time. I don't know if it did or didn't. Wouldn't be surprised if those units didn't. However, the fire alarm system obviously did since its date and everything is still correct. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.